but final time was 2.23. And now she has gone to the front for the first time at 2.18.58. Kira Watt-Gado, the three-time world champion, has gone in front. Nobody picked her as being even a podium finisher with this great field. But now Kira Watt-Gado has gone to the lead. But you've got a great coach in Haji Akilo from, from Ethiopia. She was looking at a 225 marathon, Haji told me this weekend. And look at her now. She's certainly going to get bad. Like I said, to have a three-minute negative split in her last marathon bodes very well for her fitness and a, and a big jump in the personal best. Now, Tony, there is nothing on her resume that suggests that this should be happening. No wins this year other than Rome, and her other success comes in something called the Fifth Third River Bank Run. Well, the, I mean, that's that's a big American, it's usually the U.S. Championship for 25 kilometers in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It, it's, a, it's an important race, a good race, but this is the ING New York City Marathon. Even the Rome Marathon, the Eternal City, is not a world marathon major. This is the top. This puts her now in the running. Anyone who wins New York can win anything. She was, her coach said 225 was what she thought she would run. Well, now she's going to destroy that, and she's going to beat the Boston champion. She's going to beat the London champion. She's going to beat the hometown heroine, we think. Let's not get her there too soon. How about this, Julie? Jeffrey Mutai just ran his last two miles in nine minutes. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, we can talk about the win that was in Boston all we want, but the man ran 203.02 for a marathon. You, you know, you, even with the help of the, the blustery Boston win, you still have to be able to run that fast. And he didn't do that by accident, and he's showing that right now. You're looking at 27-year-old Firawat Dado from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. What does that city like? It's like it's a, it's a big city. Two million people in the thing. I mean, poverty is all over the place. You're, when you're in taxi cabs in, in Addis, and they see that you're uh, from the Addis, not to Ethiopia. The, the begging on the streets is just extraordinary. You see things which actually frighten you uh, by the poverty that's out there. So they're running to not to just help their own lives, their families' lives. People you know, take care of dozens, if not hundreds of people. We go back to Herman Silva, the great two-time champion, who brought electricity to his home village in Mexico with his victory in New York City. That's what it means to some of these athletes. As you look at... Uzanes Deva from the Bronx right now in second place. Mary Katani has dropped back. And this has to be in some ways great for Uzanes and disappointing to the first degree as well. She trained beautifully for this race. She had great preparation, and yet she never accounted for fear of like just look back to why so far and so fast on Fourth Avenue so many miles ago. Well, because because you think you're invincible. Bill Rogers, the four-time champion, says you run enough miles and you get a Superman complex. You literally feel like you can run through walls. Well, the marathon has finally come back and bared its teeth a little bit. Said not so fast. Don't take this. Don't take this distance for granted. It's been beaten to it to the ground in all the other world marathon majors, but not here in New York today. Every sport has its limits. 90 feet, 60 feet, 6 inches, 100 yards, 10 feet high, 26.2 miles, and they reveal your inner soul. But Fir Dado of Ethiopia is going to have a life changer today. She is about to do the greatest thing that she has ever done. Backside of Deva the entire race. Deva did all the work in that chase pack, and that might come back to haunt her. Now inside of the finish line. It's not going to be a record, but it's going to be on a glorious, sunny autumn day in New York City. Sherwat Dono, the 2011 New York City Marathon champion. 23, 16 unofficially, three seconds in front of the Bronx basement. Who's the next guy? Great race by those two Ethiopians. Tani's third, once again, decided to take Ethiopia. Last You know, as we head into an Olympic year, this is a valuable lesson for her to learn, right, Tony? Oh, absolutely. There's a coach on the right, her manager on the left. As 
thing that got to Hodge Kilo, her coach. No 225 today, 223. So a great day for the Ethiopian women.